Good evening, everybody. Um, wild times, as we know. I would like you to take this with a, a, a potential, but yet a question mark. And then I'll, you know, I'll explain the best I can here. But if you'll listen closely, a possible or probable, in my opinion, probable summary of what is happening. This is big. The estimated super high pressure release valve of the oil underneath the crust is between 80,000 to 100,000 barrels per day. The flow of oil and toxic gases is bringing up with it rock sand which causes the flow to create a sand blasting effect on the remaining wellhead device currently somewhat restricting the flow as well as the drilled hole itself. As the well head becomes worn, it enlarges the passageway, allowing for an ever-increasing flow. Even if some device could be placed into the existing well head, it would not be able to shut off the flow because what remains of the existing well head would not be able to contain the pressure. The well head piping is originally about two inches thick and now is likely to be less than one inch thick and thinning with each passing moment. The oil has reached the Gulf Stream and is entering the ocean current, which is at least four times stronger than the current in the Gulf, which will carry it throughout the world within 18 months. The oil, along with the gases, include benzene and other toxins, is deleting the oxygen in the water. This is killing all life in the ocean, along with the oil along the shores. There will be many dead fish, etc. This will be gathered, it will have to be gathered and disposed of. Summary of expectations. Hang on. At some point, the drilled hole in the earth will enlarge itself beneath the wellhead to weaken the area wellhead it rests upon. The intense pressure will then push the wellhead off the hole, allowing a direct restricted, unrestricted flow of oil and etc. The hole will continue to increase in size, allowing more and more oil pressure to rise into the gulf. After several billion barrels of oil have been released, the pressure within the massive cavity five miles beneath the ocean floor will begin to normalize. Not good. This will allow the water under the intense pressure at one mile deep to be forced into the hole and the cavity uh, where the oil was. The temperature at the depth is near 400 degrees, possibly more. The water will be vapor vaporized, turned to steam, creating an enormous amount of force lifting the ocean floor. It is difficult to know how much water will go down into the core and therefore it is not possible to fully calculate the rise of the floor. Whoa. The tsunami the, the tsunami wave this will create will be anywhere from 20 to 80 feet high, possibly more. Then the floor will fall into a now vacant chamber. This is how nature will seal the hole. Depending on the height of the tsunami, the ocean debris, oil, and existing structures that will be washed away on shore and inland will leave an area from 50 to 200 miles inland devoid of life. Even if the debris is cleaned up and containments that will be on the ground and water supply will be prohibited from repopulation for these areas for an unknown number of years. And this is the end of a scientist's information. And this scientist can't give his name. Because there's a blackout on all of this. You know, at what point, I, I understand that. My God, help us. So, I know I babbled through that fast. That's the probable outcome. We know the Lucys like to tell us it in their Hollywood movies beforehand. How many can you think of? God bless you all, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, there's plenty of reading to do tonight. I might be back.